Hey guys, Marshall one here, and today I'll be playing with AWMF uh, Sokom Sniper, but it isn't a sniper, and I think this is a perfect one uh, for my personal use because I'm really lacking my skill with optics and sniper scope, so I decided it will be really funny and unique to try something uh, with this little beast because. You know, uh, I've been always trying to avoid playing with snipers or any kind of snipers, but uh, I did pretty good uh, with some of them, but since uh, I haven't done any videos with uh, this one and you guys uh, saw me once playing, uh, I think it was my Let's Learn a Russian for Contract Force video and I've seen you being really curious to see me playing with uh, this weapon so today is my lucky day I guess so I wanna try it and I think I'm already doing pretty bad and the biggest problem about this one is because weapon task is really thank you long you takes you need to do so many uh, long shots then after you finish it uh, you need to unbreak it and unbreaking this sniper is so expensive and I didn't want to give a GP to unbreak this one so uh, I told myself for the start of this video I have only one chance to do this video and show it to you guys and to be even worse uh, if you don't unbreak this sniper it's one big minus so you will lack your accuracy and you will be missing extremely a lot even on a short distance so if you really wanna use this sniper as a this you really need to have GP and unbreak it in my opinion it's really great you will be uh, getting used fast to use it it's really powerful and I like it because even with uh, Sanisari it's one shot one kill and I like weapons like this but it's really really lacking uh, something that I have to call uh, money because you really need money in order to play with this weapon and that's the only minus it's come on long shot no scope uh, it's really funny to complete a weapon task for this because after you get your reward with this collimator and silencer probably you will be the happiest guy in contract force because your work will pay off and um, I must admit I've been using uh, weapon task booster to finish a weapon task for this one and since I'm not playing with snipers I really had a lot of problems uh, completing a weapon task doing uh, long shots and it took me over a month even with a weapon task but okay I haven't been playing every day with this one but at the end when I saw what I've got I was I was really really surprised and at the one point I've been thinking about unbreaking it and doing more videos but later you know uh, I'm just a fan more of SKS and I'm fan of DTSRS MK2 so I think having this one unbreak um, is just wasting of my GP maybe in future if something else come I will buy that weapon but since I think this is the end of contract wars I think we will not even have an update because it's been a month if I'm not wrong since it's update on VK and I recommend you guys really if you wanna continue playing uh, contract wars simply move yourself to VK it's not harder it's much better and I think you will be able to play there still because uh, if I'm not wrong they will close a game on Facebook and congregate till the end of this year because it 
will be stopped supporting and Unity player won't be working here anymore. I'm not sure if developers gonna solve something. I hope really they will because uh, I'm having big plans to do so much more videos about Contract Wars and so many reviews. Even if Hired Ops is out, I would like to continue playing this game and show all good things about this game so you guys who don't have money to pay for Hired Ops may continue watching what's new in Contract Force and of course to present you a new GP weapons if they come out. Uh, anyway, I wanted to say a few more things about uh, this sniper because uh, I've seen comments like five bullets is nothing but in my opinion five bullets from this weapon if you learn how to aim and you're accurate 100% uh, they are enough to do a rage kill and I think some people can do even a rage kill in 30 bullets from one weapon or let's say from TKPD Caravan uh, it has 10 bullets and people are still not, still not able to do uh, rage kill even if it's a uh, one shot one kill and much accurate than the, this one so uh, I will rate this weapon really uh, with the biggest mark because in my opinion it's one great sniper and uh, you have options to choose if you wanna play it like this for me this is something like a uh, combat sniper assault sniper uh, because of this Sight and I really like to use it like this but um, I will give a little minus maybe to mobility and check out these guys I'm aiming perfectly into his head and my mobility and uh, my accuracy drop it because this weapon isn't on break and you are simply not able to kill anyone not even with 100% no scope oh okay and in my opinion if you really wanna enjoy fully in this weapon you will really have to unbreak it and if you're still not sure to do it or not I will recommend you first to check other things like SKS because you also have two options you have a scope for it and you can use it as carabine so in my opinion it's pretty Come on. Nice. It's pretty great weapon and if I had to choose between this one and SKS I will definitely go and take SKS but since I'm doing today video nice against Storm Kill about uh, AWMF I wanna focus more on it I wanna show you how it's working uh, with weapon task and I hope it will help you guys to decide is it really worth unbreaking and uh, is it even worth to complete the weapon task because many players so far that I've seen on congregate forum said that they paid for uh, weapon tasks to buy weapon task for this weapon and they regret it so if you wanna do it make sure that you pay to unbreak this weapon and then complete the weapon task because you will probably regret if you buy weapon task for this one then you have to unbreak this one uh, count it will be maybe around uh, 1000 gold points and in my opinion on big discounts you can buy like maybe five or six premium weapons so just be a very smart be uh, a guy who will think now what he will do in future and how he will waste let's call it like that his money on this game and what will he buy so this is only my opinion and as always you don't have to agree with me I'm just giving you some advices and some gameplays that will maybe help you to understand what is better or worse in this game but in my general opinion as I said this weapon is really great for those players who wanna play hardcore if I haven't said that uh, I wanna say it now because in my opinion uh, with weapon task you will not have that much fun on normal mode but yes uh, with scope 
and without a weapon task this weapon is great for maps like lighthouse so you will definitely do uh, a lot of kills and uh, in my humble opinion I think it's even better than uh, or sniper and for those guys who cannot have or sniper they can uh, play with this one and you will still do good oops VIP is going right on me and of course if I missed one shot I know I'm a dad because you don't have that much chance if you miss once with this weapon in close combat you will definitely die so it will take a time probably to get used to this and you know become a better one and learn how to aim so I already collected few deaths at the end of this video and I think we should really stop it and not ruin it so far because I've been doing uh, pretty good and at the start I wanted simply to stop recording but anyway I hope uh, this video will help you guys to decide and help you choose if you wanna unbreak it or do things that I just said in the video so thanks for watching don't forget to abuse this with like button if you enjoyed or dislike if you haven't and of course uh, Take care, stay safe and as always, enjoy.